hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be talking about the differences between sedena few and tadala few i made a video on tadala few alone for erectile dysfunction but in this video we'll be talking about the differences between sedena few that is viagra and tadala few which is cialis both sedena few and tadala few are used in the treatment of erectile dysfunction and they belong to the same class of drug which is the phosphodiesterase inhibitor don't forget that erectile dysfunction is the inability to achieve or maintain an erection firm enough for sexual intercourse i spoke about erectile dysfunction in one of my videos so you can click on the link and watch it because i spoke about the causes of erectile dysfunction and how to treat naturally without drugs but if the natural ways does work for you then sedan a few or tadal a few can be a go-to solution both sedan a few and tadal a few belong to the same class of drug which is the phosphodiesterase inhibitor they are used in the treatment of erectile dysfunction they both require sexual stimulation to act when you take sildenafil or tadalafil, you have to be sexually aroused by your partner before this medication can act. You don't just take this medication and then it starts acting. You have to be sexually aroused. So when you are sexually aroused by your partner, there will be an increased release of nitric oxide, which will lead to the dilation of the blood vessels supplying the penis. And then there will be improved blood flow leading to an erection. So this is how both sildenafil and tadalafil act. Both sildenafil and tadalafil should not be taken with drugs like nitrate. An example is nitroglycerin, which is used in the treatment of angina pectoris. So for patients that have angina pectoris and are taking nitroglycerin, please do not take it alongside sildenafil or tadalafil because of an increased risk of hypotension. Your blood pressure will further decrease and this can even lead to death. So do not take nitroglycerin with sildenafil or tadalafil. Yeah, another major side effect that sildenafil and tadalafil has is priapism. Sildenafil and tadalafil can cause erection to last for over four hours in some patients. It's a side effect and it is rare. So it is very important that you speak to your healthcare professional once you notice any side effect. It's very important. Also, you should note that Sildenafil and Tadala interact with certain medications like antibiotics, antifungal agents, antiviral agents. That's why it is very important that you speak to your healthcare professional before you start taking any of these medications. Moving into the differences between Sildenafil and Tadalafil. The first is the onset of action. Sildenafil, after ingestion, takes 30 minutes to one hour for it to start acting, while Tadalafil takes also 30 minutes to one hour for it to start acting but it gets to its peak effectiveness within one hour to two hours so if you want an immediate effect then sildenafil is a better option because after ingestion it takes just 30 minutes to one hour for it to begin to act but for tadalafil for it to reach its peak effectiveness it requires one hour to two hours Number two, the duration of action. Sildenafil acts for four hours to six hours. Then its effects wears out. But for Tadalafil, it acts for over 36 hours. It has an extended duration of action. Food affects the absorption of Sildenafil. So if you take Sildenafil with fatty meals, it will decrease the absorption of Sildenafil. But for Tadalafil, it does not interact with food. Food does not affect the absorption of tadalafil tadalafil can either be taken on empty stomach or even after meals the absorption of tadalafil will not be affected so then it comes in strengths like 25 milligram 50 milligram and 100 milligram why tadalafil comes in lower doses like 2.5 milligram 5 milligram 10 milligram down to 20 milligram and the dosing frequency is such that tadalafil can be taken in lower doses on a daily basis. Tadalafil is used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia also, while sildenafil is not used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia. And these are the differences between sildenafil and tadalafil. So now which one is better between sildenafil and tadalafil? Which one is preferable for patients? While both sildenafil and tadalafil are generally well tolerated by patients, some patients find sildenafil to be more effective for them than tadalafil is, while others find tadalafil to be more effective for them than sildenafil is. But a research was carried out by NLM on systemic review and meta-analysis. Research shows that 
patients respond better to tadalafil because tadalafil has lesser side effects and its absorption is not affected by food and then its duration of action is extended hence people tend to get better outcomes with tadalafil than they do with sildenafil also for people having both erectile dysfunction and benign prostatic hyperplasia tadalafil has been found to be really helpful tadalafil is a better option because it has lesser side effects its extended duration of action the fact that it, its absorption is not affected by food makes it a better option and it, it is well tolerated by individuals even more and also tadalafil is used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia so for patients having both erectile dysfunction and bph they can use tadalafil for that condition hence tadalafil is a better option but both sildenafil and tadalafil are equally effective for the treatment of erectile dysfunction but the research showed that tadalafil is a better option so make sure you don't take this medication without consulting your healthcare professional I remain pharmacist Vera and this YouTube channel is focused on health and health related talks. So please like, share and comment on this video. See you some other time. Thanks for watching.